So this ready, set, continue. I'm going to talk serious uh, with you all. And um, I want to talk uh, about racism. Or bigotry, rather. Bigotry is more appropriate. Um, you know, uh, I, I will say one of the... Um, one of the good things about Trump running is that it's kind of brought um, a lot of people that I thought were a lot more open-minded um, out and showing like their um, their bigotry, really. And um, you know, like from the whole Mexicans are bringing their drugs, they're bringing their rapists, um, they're not bringing the best, to accusing all Muslims of being terrorists. I mean, <clears throat> think about it this way. If all Muslims were terrorists, even 50%, the world would have such a problem. Like, just by the the idea that you know a, a couple of radicals went ahead and hijacked some planes and um, you know created such a you know so much trouble for you know for the U.S. Uh, you know <clears throat> then if that small amount did it you know. Wouldn't the whole world be constantly, I mean, like on a weekly basis, if not more, uh, dealing with these with these radical terrorists? It, it just it just isn't. Um, you know, in, in reality, uh, you know, <clears throat> I have friends that come from around the world, and you know, in, at the end of the day. We're all the same, you know, we all put one shoe on a time, we all are born, we all will die, we all eat, we all sleep, you know, we really aren't, you know, when you really dig down to it, even though some cultures seem so different, there's a lot of similarities between um, societies in cultures and such and you know I think that in today's society uh, you know we really uh, racism should really have gone the way you know gone away you know it should have ended with our grandparents it should have just um, I don't know what the hell's going on with my hair um, but yeah, like at this point, you know, we shouldn't be talking racism. We should be talking, you know, about much bigger issues. And quite honestly, it it shocks me, it disgusts me that our society still haven't, you know, evolved. Um, I mean, shit, we were, uh, you know, last year talking about how the Confederate flag symbolizes uh, racism which is bullshit <laughs> I mean <clears throat> I've seen black people from the south waving that flag in pride just as much as any white American from the south so it's like if those people um, you know aren't offended why is that anyone else's. I, I've started to realize that um, it's it's weird how uh, most of the time when the race car is played uh, when it comes to a, a you know like a media uh, circus type deal it's almost always the white pre people it's almost always white that's the source of who's you know calling the outrage and it's like what the fuck it, it, it's just to create this ongoing, never-ending battle of the races, of the sexes, 
It, it's stupid. It's you know, and we and we buy into it. That's the sick thing. As a society, we buy into the media making things much bigger than they are. I mean, it was like I forget which actress she uh, for Halloween got dressed up as um, as Crazy Eyes from Orange Is the New Black. And if you haven't seen the show, it's a good show. Um, I think that is one of the coolest characters, too. And everyone was like, oh, my God, I can't believe she, um, you know, did that. She didn't do it to be like, oh, you know, you know, stupid black people or anything like that. She did it because she thought the character was really cool. Like, I think that the character is really cool. Um... You know, just because you go ahead and paint yourself, you know, brown and, you know, don yourself as, like, some sort of character from a TV show doesn't make you racist. In that regard, if I were to, I'm a Star Trek fan, say I want to dress up as, as the Gorn. You know, or maybe I want that. Like, I'm a woman, and I want to. I like Star Trek. I want to be myself like, like the green chick, from, uh, from Star Trek. Am I being racist? No, no one's gonna call out because there are no green people. But it's still a color of skin. Like, whether it's fictitious or real, then you kind of have to see it in the same way. It's like, you know, I know people are going to jump on this and be like, well, one one's fictional, one isn't. Well, technically, the character Crazy Eyes is fictional. It just happens to be a black character played by a black uh, woman. You know, I wonder how many people would get mad if I were to, uh, oh, I forgot his name, the character's name, um, I wonder how many people would get mad if I dressed as, uh, Robert Downey Jr. from Tropic Thunder in his full black costume. It's a black character, but played by a white person. But no one seemed to really make a big deal of it and um you know bigotry and racism it's so uh it's it's so stupid we pick and choose we don't set one standard we don't stick with that one standard we just we go where we want to with it some things are okay some aren't you know, we don't tolerate um, racism. You know, like a black or a white person can't go out and, you know, uh, do like a comedy act and be like, oh, those stupid niggers. And sorry if you're offended by the word, but, you know, I'm using it in context. But yet a white person or a black person can go out and do an entire routine based around how much they dislike and distrust white people. And it's like, it's a double standard. It really is. You know? Uh, in, I mean, I, the way I see is if, if blacks can go ahead and make satire jokes about white people, then vice versa can be done. It doesn't really matter. Um, and what's even more shocking is when I see, like, I'm an advocate for, um, for gay rights. I say, screw it. Let them. Who gives a shit? You know, uh, most married people are miserable anyway. And if you don't like uh, gays, then let them be miserable just like you. Why not? <laughs> That's I mess up viewpoint, but still. I mean, if two gay couples are gay, are married, how does it affect me? How does it affect you? It doesn't. It's their lives. Hell, you probably won't even meet most of them if any of them 
because you're homophobic and you don't keep gay company, so it really doesn't matter. It does not affect you in any way. So this is the deal. <clears throat> I'm going to straight talk with you all. Racism does not exist. No, no, no. Don't, don't try to give examples. Don't try to do any of that. Racism does not exist. We're past it. The media tells us to tell to hate these people or dislike these people or distrust these people. But nowadays, this is what it is. And there is um, hatred going on, a dislike, a distrust. And the in you know, everyone wants to pin um, you know, hate and blame upon Jews, Muslims, you know, these people are the reason why society is collapsing, and these people are the reason why hey, the jobs are shit and blah blah blah. The reality of the situation is there's only two two uh you know, groups at war with each other. And where are they? The poor and the rich. That's what always matters. Because when, when once you have money, it doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. Because once you have that money, you're able to just buy and sell people. You're able to buy and sell their opinions. You're buy, you, you know, you could come into, you know, wherever place as a black person, the deep, deep south where, you know, pure racism runs rampant and they're like, oh, you know, get the fuck out of here. You, you know, flash a wallet full of hundreds, all of a sudden people's opinion starts changing. That's the thing. Money influences everything. It does. That's why I say racism does not exist. It really doesn't. Because if you think it, whatever nationality, sex, creed, whatever you believe in, if you think that it hinders you, ask yourself, if you had $50 billion, do you think the problems that you have today, being whatever you are, will still exist if you have those $50 billion. You know, you pull up, you know, you have like some beat up Honda right now. Next, and people make fun of you nonstop for who you are. Next day you show up in Bentley. With the flashiest clothes, you know, just spreading money all over the place. No. Racism does not exist, people. It does not. We have evolved to the root of the evil, and that is money and is class. <clears throat> Part of the high class, you know, ton, top of money. They don't care. They don't care when you show up. They don't care... Uh, what sex you are, they don't care, uh, you know, what nationality you are. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't. And we have to get past that and see who the true enemies are. They're not some Mexicans coming across the border. They're not uh, Syrian refugees. They're not Muslims in this country. They're just trying to get by. It's all in your head. It's all made up because of the glowing box in the living room. It's made up by the internet. Where, we're, you know, we get stuck on constantly debating these issues that should not be more than a second long. Like, I hate coming back to this, but it's like a current issue. Well, should we have Trump as president? Blah, 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 blah. 
No. He doesn't act like a present. He doesn't look like a present. He doesn't talk like a present. He, he acts like a child with a giant bank book. That's it. Right there, the conversation should be done. But it's not. We just keep going. And why? Because the media lets it go. I remember, um, you know, when Ron Paul was running, they were like, oh, you know, he's not really a Republican and all this type of shit. And, you know, they, they were trying to throw him off the campaign trail. But yet no one's, I mean, Trump is legitimately just, he's a blemish on, you know, on this country. He's a blemish on, I mean, it's a joke that he's running. Yet yeah, we're like, oh, but, but. why? It's media. It, we're told to make an issue of it. We're told to express our emotions toward this. That it's such a big issue. It, it, it's like, it's like, like when a celebrity goes off the rails. You know, when Michael Jackson went off the rails, when Britney Spears went off the rails. Okay. In reality. It has no bearing on you and me. It has no bearing on our society. It has no bearing on the quality of life. It's individuals just gone fucking crazy. And to be honest, when we're surprised that, you know, celebrities go crazy, uh, think about your life and if someone if groups of people were at your windows trying to snap pictures trying to find every little bit of dirt on you you might go crazy too see this is the thing we have to step out of our current little circle current little life jump out of it and look at life from other people's views If we don't, we fail as humans, we fail as a society, we fail in evolution, we fail ourselves, and we fail the future in our children. Because if we don't set an example now for the next generation, things are just going to get worse. We all have been talking for a while, I hear all the time, like, you know, the world's going crazy. Well, we let it go crazy because we set examples for the next generation to just act poorly. And our standards have been lowered. We just overall, every bit of, of life, it's, you know, it's all by status. Whether or not I have an iPhone, whether or not I have this job, I have this money, I drive this car, it's all bullshit. I, you know, part of me was doing the same thing. I thought <clears throat> all of my problems would go away if I just worked more and got raises and got better jobs and, you know, all that type of stuff. But at the end of the day, I don't care as long as I feel love in my life and, you know, I'm able to have a little bit of time to do what I enjoy to express my creativity and to express myself thank you guys for listening too because you're helping that you know but it's true we we our values have gone to shit it really really has and um you know i i i, I weep for the the future of this country. I have a son. Um, you know, I won't go into much detail, but um, you know, I I worry. I worry about what what my generation is leaving behind for him. I'm not happy about it. I'm really not happy about it. Um, you know, and. We have to, I, maybe that's one of the keys. Start looking 
the future that you're going to leave for your children, if not for yourself. This is really the values we want to instill in our children. The values that we complain about so much that is ruined and is ruining even more life in, on this earth. Do we want to magnify it for our children? And, you know, honestly, if you have no problem with our value system as a society, I'm not saying you as an individual, you might have great values. But I mean, as a society, maybe you're not fit for to be parents. Okay? Just think about that. A lot of people just jump into it. And, you know, you got to get your head straight before you can have children. You know, we all have to get our heads straight. And, you know, don't get me wrong. You know, I get it. We're bombarded with these stupid values, these petty wars we wage against our neighbors when it's all about, you know, making us fight so we don't realize that our rights, our pensions, our social security, our, <clears throat> you know, our health care, you know, anything that helps us get by is being just literally bought off and traded away and given away. And so the fat cats of the world can have a bigger bank account. So they can have yet another house. So they can have their 18th car. I mean, th it's disgusting. It really, really is disgusting. And when you really break it down and really view it, this is a, it's shocking and appalling that we let this stuff go. So that is my view on racism and bigotry in society today. And, you know, I just kind of wanted to vent my opinion of it. You may have another one. And, you know, voice it. I'm giving you the ladder. I'm giving you the platform. Comment. Say your piece. Let's get it all out. Don't, don't take it out to the street. Let's just do it right here. Comment below. Let's have a debate. Let's have a conversation. I am more than eager to hear your uh, points of view. And for the record, I will not make fun of you. Um, you know, I, I'll, I'll say that, you know, I'll, I'll correct you if I believe you're wrong or if I can full on uh, prove that a statement is wrong, I will say it. But I, I will not curse you out. I will not uh, scream at you. I will talk to you like a human being as I am talking right now because um, at the end of the day I don't need to scream I don't need to curse at you and the reason for it is you know if I believe in what I say and I stand by it that's what matters so anyway I love you all peace and have a good day